So today we're going to talk about T and protrusion stenting, which is in simple words called TAP, T A P stenting. So first, this is the main branch, and this is the side branch. In what situations it's useful to do, especially if the angle is 90 degrees or greater than 90 degrees. Greater than 70 degrees is also recommended. Uh, and the reason is because in mini crush, you might have a stent hanging in here, and it might be very difficult to make this angle with a balloon afterwards. That's why it's recommended in those cases to do tap. The other good thing about this is that it's short, which means the duration is very short and pretty quick. It's pretty quick, and you'll see how it happens. So, so again, this is the vessel. You wire both vessels like that. That's the number one step. The second step is you rail in the stent on the, on the first wire, which is in the main branch. And you wanna take the more angulated branch as the one that you're put, gonna put the stent on. And you put a stent on this. Now this wire, this wire, it's now outside of the stent, okay? So you have to pull this wire. The other way is that you can pull this wire and direct it this way, or you can put a third wire in and put it in here. It all depends on what you want to do. You keep the stent balloon in there, okay? So you have a stent in here like that. You keep the balloon in here and wire the side branch. On this side branch, bring the stent, the second stent in, okay? And your balloon is still in there. Okay, and um, you keep this balloon here to have a mark of the stent, not too back, not too much back into the main branch. That's why you want to keep it there. Next step is that you have a stent in here, you put the other stent, the side branch stent here, you have a wire going through this, you have a wire going through this, and you keep that balloon somewhere here, okay? And then I just make it dark so you can see it. This is the stent, stent balloon. While there's already a balloon in here of this, this stent, you pull it back a little bit, and then you, you do something called kissing balloon inflation, okay? Now you don't have to have these both markers truly aligned with each other. You just need to have a little bit back. And it has been shown in the studies, if you have both markers aligned, that stent um, is not, not, has, a, has, a, has a problem over here, it gets pulled in. So you want to have a, as, as minimum of the overlap as possible, but enough overlap that you do not inflate it inside the stent, okay? You want it a little bit backwards, so you pull that balloon backwards, okay? After that, you can do a pot, which is proximal optimization of the stent, so on, on any of the wires, I actually prefer the side branch wire, bring a big balloon and, and inflate that. You can also do this ballooning prior to putting the wire back in, okay? So it's called P-O-T, proximal optimization of the stent. I think that was uh, easily explained. Um, and if you have any questions, please do not forget to comment and you will see a subscribe button here. Please press that to subscribe. I'll be uploading these 
pretty regularly in the future. If you have any special requests, I'll be happy to talk about those and present the cases. Thank you.